Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Joy of Puzzles. I have for you today a puzzle titled Boba Fett. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since I put a puzzle video up, and it's been because of this puzzle, this <laughs> monstrosity. Uh, <laughs> I got a lot to talk about. All right, so this puzzle was published in 2020 by Buffalo Games. Buffalo Games was established in 1986, and they are located in Buffalo, New York. They are a privately held company, so the information available about them is fairly limited. I can tell from their LinkedIn status profile, they have less than 200 employees, and I think I saw somewhere over 50, but less than 100 actual employees listed on their site. The artist for this puzzle is not given. Uh, credit goes to George Lucas and his team of people that have worked on the brand over the past 40 years. I'm sure it's hundreds upon hundreds of artists involved in, um, you know, the Star Wars franchise. And of course, some credit goes to the software used to create photo mosaic type puzzles. They are kind of their own little, for me, niche, um, you know, genre within the puzzle group. In general, uh, historically, I like them because the orientation of each piece is kind of known to you. And I say that with some chagrin in that I have not built a photo mosaic in quite some time, and apparently I had much better eyesight the last time I built one of these, so even with my glasses, the orientation of the piece was a challenge. Yeah, that's a hard, hard lesson, the hard thing to accept, but it is reality. Uh, luckily, the pieces have a bit of a rectangular shape to them, not fully square like you normally see, and the pictures themselves are rectangular. So you did get at least half of your orientation. Um, by looking at the piece, even if I couldn't tell if the image was upside down or not. This is a thousand piece puzzle and it took me an astronomical 24 hours to build. This is the longest build I've had since I've been putting these videos up. And yeah, I don't know what to say about that. Well, I guess we'll get into that with the review. Um, strategy! Strategy 1, get better glasses. I gotta, gotta work on that one. <laughs> Uh, again, hard. It was a hard thing to accept, but truly necessary. Uh, this puzzle we started. I started with the border. I worked on this primarily one alone. Apparently, my teammates uh, had far less fond memories of photo mosaic puzzles and wanted nothing to do with this one. Yeah, they appear briefly within the 24-hour stretch. Um, so, strategy border. The bright yellow slash orange shoulder pad, and then attached to that was a very distinctive blue and a green and yellow cape. Uh, the blue is the backpack of Boba Fett, and the green and yellow is a cape. And then I said, all right, well, let's pull out the red pieces. They kind of stand out, but they're spread out throughout the puzzle. There is the, I'll call it a Vambrance arm guard, uh, a little bit on the belt, and then in the visor there is also some red. And I found as I built the visor there isn't much in the way of actual uh, black pieces, just that T-shaped visor, and then the other dark pieces were, um, we'll call it the underarm between the cape and, and his, his upper arm, there's a dark stretch, it's really blue, not black, and the lower left hand corner also had some very dark pieces. Uh, and after that, well, that was it for the easy stuff, so to speak. My normal strategy when historically building a photo mosaic is that you look for the transition pieces. You got this blue color next to a green, and a green next to an orange, and, and you try to do that. And I said to myself, well, I can build the the helmet and, and basically the transition of his body shape to the red uh, brown kind of background color that proved way more difficult than I thought it would be. I found lots of pieces and could not make heads or tails of it because there's a lot of um, we'll call it soft edges around it that 
you would say, okay, the helmet is this nice curved thing, and the 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 rocket mounted on his back. But they were not that easy because I couldn't distinguish when I pulled one of those transition pieces where on the puzzle it went. So when you look at the total border of his shape to the background, that's a lot of pieces to try to put together. Um, so I kind of abandoned that strategy. I had the pieces separated. What I ended up finding is that within certain colors, take the green that you see being built in the center of the puzzle, there's like a subset. There's a particular hue or collection of images that are alike enough that they um, kind of create their own little nest of colors and I kept building off on the sides those little subsets and they would just get bigger and bigger or I'd find pairs of pieces that would fit together and then I'd try to figure out where the heck they went in the, in the full puzzle. Uh, I, I slowly chipped away at all the transition pieces but it was not smooth sailing. All right, I've talked and talked and talked. Let's review the puzzle. I'm going to review the puzzle in four distinct categories on a scale of one to five. The first category is the puzzle material quality itself, the paperboard. How well was the image bonded to it? Are the pieces flexible? Are they durable? And I'm going to give this a three. Uh, solid puzzle. Buffalo Games usually makes good stuff, and uh, this is right where it should be. It did not detract from the puzzle at all. The second category is the puzzle cut quality. Now, <laughs> building this puzzle, I've come to realize that, you know, it's more than just the cut quality, and I might have to think about how I phrase this in the future, in that it could also be the design. The, the pieces can be crisp, but if there's too many of them that are alike, is that really the cut quality, or is it the, the, um, yeah, I guess the design is the right word for how these pieces fit together. Uh, this one I'm going to give it a two. I had a lot of pieces that I swear fit someplace and then would look at it from a slightly different angle and see a slight little gap. I so many times had to pull out a piece and hold it up to the light to see where it fit. Did it make, did it fit there as there's this tiny little gap? Um, but I'm going to give it a two. I was on the fence for a while, but I'll, I'll stick with my two. Difficulty. Well, <laughs> I'm going to have to give it a five. Now, is it the puzzle or is it my eyesight? Now, I'm going to go with the puzzle for this one. Uh, it's definitely a challenge. Uh, at, at the end, when you get to the, the final color, I literally had to sort every piece by its shape and its orientation and just grind through uh, those last... I don't know, 150 pieces. So it's definitely a five. This is the longest build I've had in many, many years, uh, certainly since as long as I've been doing this. You see here in the puzzle, I'm sorting pieces by shape, which, yeah, that's not my definition of fun. Frameability. All right, the most subjective of all the categories. If this was a picture, would I hang it in my house? Is it fine art? Well, it's definitely a three. It's definitely frameable. I mean, I happen to like the character, which is probably how I ended up with this puzzle. It wasn't a mystery to a family member that I like Boba Fett, so I got it. It's a cool p poster. Uh, I think the photo mosaics are actually pretty interesting to look at, but it may not be everyone's cup of tea. It's definitely a poster, right? It's not fine art. It's not going to hang in my living room, but it might hang in the, uh, you know, <laughs> the game room or something like that. Overall, what am I going to give it? It's not linear. I know I kind of ping-ponged here with my scores. I'm going to give it a three. There is a chance I would build this again. Um, it may be, again, with better glasses. <laughs> uh, I'll build it again. I'm going to give it a three. Uh, here at the end here, I didn't want to reach because the puzzle pieces didn't fit very well. And again, it's not the cut, it's the design. And because I had to hunt and peck every piece by shape into every single spot that made sense and slowly pick away at it, uh, I rotated the puzzle. I know it's kind of annoying to watch the video this way, uh, but that's the way it was. Uh, so, hey, if you like the video, go ahead and click the like button. I appreciate everyone that takes 10 minutes out of a day to watch one of these things, and I appreciate all the feedback. So, 
I look forward to bringing you more puzzle videos, uh, certainly much more frequently than this stretch. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll get more done and uh, share with everyone. And uh, Again, thanks again, everyone. Bye.